Hi friends, I've got a story for you here. It's called I Am Henry Finch. And it's by Alexis Deacon, illustrated by Vivian Schwartz. I am Henry Finch. The Finches lived in a great flock. They made such a racket all day long. You could really not hear yourself think. Every morning they said, Good morning. Good morning, Aziz Finch. Good morning, George Finch. Good morning, Tiffany Finch. Good morning, Henry Finch. And every afternoon they said, Good morning, or good afternoon. Good afternoon, Barbie Finch. Good afternoon, June Locke Finch. Good afternoon, Henry Finch. Good afternoon, Felicity Finch. And in the evening, they said, good evening. Good evening, Henry Finch. Good evening, Froy Finch. Good evening, Beepo Finch. Good evening, Ellen Finch. At night, they said, good night. Good night, Betty Finch. Good night, Henry Finch. Good night, Bob Finch. Good night. Zzz. And in the morning, they started over. Good morning, Henry Finch. It was always the same. Except, sometimes, the beast came. And then, they would all shout, The beast! The beast! And fly as fast as they could to the top of the nearest tree, where they would sit and shout until the beast moved on. And this was the way it always was, until one night something else happened. A finch woke up in the dark and the quiet. He had a thought and he heard it. I am Henry Finch, he thought. I think, he thought. He sat still and listened to his thoughts. He had more of them. He liked them. Am I the first Finch to ever have a thought, he thought. I could be great, thought Henry. The beast, the beast, the beast, the beast, the beast. Look at his thought. He feels powerful, doesn't he? It was the time for greatness. I am Henry Finch, screamed Henry Finch and dived straight down at the beast. Who ate him? It was very dark inside, the beast, and was very quiet. I will listen to my thoughts, Henry Finch said. But they were bad thoughts. You are a fool, Henry Finch, he thought. You are not great. You are only someone's dinner.
And now Henry did not like his thoughts at all. And he tried not to think. But what else could he do? He thought and he thought and thought. Who am I? He thought. Am I Henry Finch? I am something. I think. I am. He thought. It is, he thought. And then all his thoughts fell silent. He became aware of the sounds around him, and they were the sounds of the beast. Crunch, munch, grumble, gurgle, glub. Henry was quiet. He listened. He could hear the thoughts of the beast. Got to eat, got to hunt, got to find more food. Big family, all need feeding, crawling, swimming, flying, walking, anything will do. said Henry. No, thought the beast. Those creatures have families like you, said Henry. Like me, thought the beast. You will eat plants from now on, said Henry, and they have bits to spare. I will eat plants, thought the beast. And now, said Henry, you will open your mouth as wide as you can and hold it like that for a bit. Open, thought the beast. Oh my goodness, is Henry going to get out of the beast? Is he? Out flew Henry! Oh my goodness! Hey! Someone called from the top of the tree. Everyone, it's Henry! Good morning, everyone, said Henry. Good morning, Henry, Finch, said everyone. I have something to tell you, said Henry, but first you must be quiet. And everyone was quiet. Henry told the finches about everything that had happened, and they listened. When he had finished, no one moved. They stayed quiet. And then a little voice said, I have had a thought. Goodbye, everyone. I will come back. What is his thought going to be? Where's he going? Oh, look at what that caused. One by one, the finches flew off. We will come back, they called him. Henry looked up at them. And he smiled, a finch smile. Great, thought Henry. You guys come up with the greatest ideas just like Henry. Thanks for listening.